here's the subject I'd uh, like to show you a little bit about is uh, what you see all over the place now is these uh, little scooters and uh, first was introduced to them when I was over in Europe actually uh, the very first one I rode was in Israel and they come out to be about 11 cents uh, per minute which is a pretty good price uh, I just did the lime wire just a little bit ago, and I did it. Uh, I had to run back to my hotel and uh, pick up some things. And uh, so what I did was uh, rode it up there, put it on pause. Evidently, you pay on pause as well. So I put it on pause, went up to the hotel room, got the stuff I needed, came back down, jumped back on it, rode it back down here for a total of 31 minutes. That little ride cost me about eleven dollars it was fun it was all it, it was worth the ride but uh, I don't know about the cost these you know, little things were pretty expensive I think that comes out to be about uh, 30 cents 31 cents uh, for uh, the ride for this machine and then uh, and then uh, there's an initial charge up there too just uh, one dollar to unlock it so you can have it locked there are certain areas that you can take it in uh, in this area that I'm in here they're limited on speed when I was uh, over in Israel, uh, those things there were, uh, they, they'd go 22 miles an hour. I tell you, <laughs> you know, it was pretty scary at first, but, uh, you know, 10 miles an hour. And then I got to, to going, and I had to go all the way downtown in Israel. And so I, I didn't know how to use the taxi system at that time. I didn't have a car. And, uh, Uber, I didn't, didn't try that over there, although Uber is all over the world, but uh, didn't try it. So I found these things all over the coastline. And so I jumped on one, you know, just put, all you do is uh, you download the app. Uh, for example, this one here is called Lime. And you download that Lime app, put in your credit card, scan which scooter, to, it'll tell you how much battery life is left in any one of these here. Uh, scan that, uh, scan the code. Let me show you the code. Turn the camera around. Okay, guess you can't turn the camera around, but uh, the code on these ones right here is right there. So it's right on the handle. You just scan that code, you put it in. It takes a little bit for it to come into a, uh, to unlock it, but it tells you everything uh, right on the top of it too. A lot of these here are pretty good. Scan to unlock. Sorry, I can't flip my uh, camera around for some reason. There we go. I uh, got flipped around. I guess you have to stop the video to actually uh, turn the camera around. So these are the bikes here. This is another one here, Spin. I ha I'm not familiar with this one as much, but they look like a pretty good one. Gives you uh, information at the top. Top information. It should be a little bit in there. And there's your barcode scan at the top right there. One thing I like about this here is it gives you information on the lines right at the top. So, pretty good things. You got the brake on the back. You can uh, step on the back back spot right here. I got to get my finger situated here uh, on the back there. You also have brake up front, and they go about uh, 10 miles an hour around here. So these ones here don't go quite as fast. Uh, they've got different areas here in DC that they go faster. I don't know how fast they'll actually go, uh, but uh, that, that's two types there. And uh, we also got another type over here. It's called Skip. So different types. And uh, Oh, we got the probably one of the most popular ones, bird. Birds are right here. So them and lime are probably the biggest ones. I don't even know what this type here is right here. Oh, it's a lift. 
So it's a different type here. So we got uh, five different types right here that you can get. I did try the different types. I bird and lime when I was in Israel. And I, I do remember that I like lime a little bit better because it showed the speed on the top of it. Uh, it was a little bit more comfortable of a ride. Although none of these are very much uh, very comfortable. So, and then you can ride them. You can't just take them anywhere though. You have to make sure that uh, you, when you stop, that they're in an area that you can uh, lock them. And then you take a picture of them where they're located and then that's the end of the ride there. And then your credit card will be charged at the end of that. So, pretty expensive little things. But, uh, that's all I got for today. A little bit of a random subject here, other than Bitcoin or uh, man money management, uh, but some good information. You know, probably gonna see a lot of a lot of that for me, jumping to different subjects. Love doing it. Uh, love sharing my life with you, and uh, just having fun. That's all I got for today. So, lock jaw, and I'm out.